Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shala Malosun. Coming up on today's bulletin, we look into the plight of the San community and their battles with poverty. There is hope for former sex workers with a new work initiative. A Zimbabwean a cappella group sinks their way to glory. And in sport, Taekwondo teams are gearing up for the Korean Ambassadors Cup in Harare. The Sun indigenous population is living in extreme poverty with little or no access to food, water and other basic services. Our reporter Crispin Tavora sheds more light on the living conditions of the Sun in the remote southwest of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe's Sun community is living in abject poverty in Kaunajena village, about 94 kilometers west of Cholocho, a rural district in the southwestern part of the country. ATV visited the area and met some visibly depressed members of the Sun community who are facing food and water shortages in addition to social exclusion from the mainstream economy. A Sun community elder, Gogo Dombosi Kaisi, was captured eating a meal without relish, showing the dire situation in this remote and drought-prone region. Another elder, Gogo Mushkwatso, still yearns for the past where food and meat was in abundance. Isifula Sengwe's son, village head, Mtandazo Fundlala, appealed for food assistance to avert hunger and starvation among his people. In a baguette, the baguette is in young as in Billy, two months in baguette. Yeah, what was the mess lava on a bag will linda? La man's he travel the kid. I look okay. I don't have a very source a put it October. I got put it very mind of his lap. Parat was gabazit. Am I lay look at him like a set to chill? Lecomo says pen to kill it about seven natacona in boozy donkey, not a corner of as well as Zimagacool. Zimbabwe is home to an estimated 2,000 sons, most of whom are unemployed and are often socially excluded from various national programs. Support from the government and other relief agencies is inadequate and calls are growing for the creation of a conducive environment for them to articulate issues affecting them. Reporting for ATV in Kaunajena, Zimbabwe. A non-governmental organization is reaching out to former sex workers in a Harare suburb by supporting initiatives that will help them to find alternative ways to earn a living. Jairo Saunyama has more. About 15 former sex workers and women living with HIV from Mavoku, a high-density suburb about 22 kilometers east of Harare, received training recently as part of efforts to equip them with life skills. The three-day training program that was organized by Development Aid from People to People provided them with business skills and how to find alternative means of earning a living. The principal objectives of this workshop, it is a, a workshop that is designed to focus on addressing the issues of poverty, poverty because we have seen that poverty is uh, so much related to, H to the spread of HIV and AIDS. Because if you look in Zimbabwe, for example, we have about 140 organizations, aid service organizations, but many of, many of them, they are mainly centered on uh, uh, doing HIV and AIDS prevention and doing counseling and also offering counseling services. But the issues of economic empowerment, empowerment they are being left out. Organizers said the response by the community was overwhelming, with most participants willing to move on. 
response is very overwhelming because uh, if you look at uh, the attendance the attendance for this workshop in particular then you can see that uh, the attendance was just a hundred percent and uh, if you go and then you starting with the government ministries they respond very well including the even the population that you are targeting most of the women appreciated the training they received saying it was important for them to find other avenues of supplementing their income kana kuita mkando cha hiyo semadzi mai tinogona utanga kana pa dola dola ndokubatadziswa kuti iwewe ita self evaluation kwa uri wewe zvi screen kuona kuti ndinozo dzorera here mari kana chingenda tanga kana anga ve group nevamo tadza sakani nyaye kuita ma projects nekuita ma support group zvino utungamiri kuti hawafana kuti unofana kuti munhu wese kana ari munhu wese mutungamiri mugroup Nofana kuti uchipana nguve kuti vana kuti munhu wese contribute kwa munhu wese ndo kunoita to group rishande kuti she juice anzi rakanakiswa noku nokurukana kushinda mbiri women often resort to sex work to supplement their earnings and training that gives them options can go a long way in improving their lives and curbing the spread of HIV and AIDS reporting for ATV in Harare Zimbabwe one of Zimbabwe's best a cappella groups has won a regional choral music contest after outshining 10 other groups at a festival in South Africa. Judith Gwande was there for ATV. Despite having lost its leader and founder Israel Zangare, Chitungu Zamon Singers put up a splendid performance to clinch the top award at the Old Mutual Annual Choir Festival, which was held in South Africa recently. The 50-member choral ensemble won 8,000 rand cash prize, a floating trophy, and a ticket to the finals of the competition penciled for December in Cape Town. Automatically, it means we've qualified for the nationals, uh, and we are geared for those nationals which will be held in Cape Town uh, in December, uh, the, uh, for, uh, on the 8th and 9th of December. Chitungi Zamun singers outclassed 10 other choral groups at the competitions, and one of the group's conductors say it was a combination of hard work and commitment that ensured them victory. It took a lot of uh, commitment and uh, hard working, and also on the part of the uh, technical team, organizing the people, and then uh, bringing to the people what they had to do and the, what they were required to produce and uh, intense uh, practices and um, sectionized practices and particularized and also um, the all nights and the drilling of the soloists uh, separately and also dealing with uh, the demands uh, which are the tonal demands of uh, the African peace. Other members of the ensemble said winning the competition was an uplifting and befitting tribute to their late choral group founder. I'm very much excited because the moral was very low, but now that we won, everybody is very excited, including me. We are very happy. Yeah, it was so. It feels so good, so fantastic. I can I can express the joy that we had after all the challenges that we had throughout the year. We faced a lot of challenges, but this was the only way God can, could reward us. At least we are at a certain stage that we don't have any complaints for now from God. The multi-talented Shidungu Zamon Singers was formed in 1993 and has won two NAMA awards. The choral group has performed at big events both locally and internationally. Reporting for ATV, I am Judith Gwande in Harare, Zimbabwe. Taekwondo teams in the southern region are gearing up for the Korean Ambassadors Cup, which is scheduled to be held in Harare this month. Melody Mukutu reports. Southern region Taekwondo teams over the weekend held some drills in preparation for the forthcoming Korean Ambassadors Cup to be held in Harare next month. The Taekwondo competitors are upbeat about the forthcoming tournament. For the next preparation, the next tournament, we have a lot of mistakes. We have a lot of 
The Southern Region Chief Instructor of Taekwondo said the matches were important in maintaining their competitiveness. We will keep them informed because we had a tournament in June, end of June, and so far from then we haven't had anything. So this one will keep them informed for their next tournament. Taekwondo is gaining popularity as a sport in Zimbabwe with more people joining the sport every year. Reporting for ATV in Matobo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.